The scroll wheel on your mouse has stopped to work, started to scroll more than required, or it started to skip lines while scrolling. The problem mostly happens on Logitech mice, so I will talk about Logitech mice. However, the solution may apply to mice from other manufacturers and brands. In some cases, there is a specific solution. For instance, a firmware update that updates the microcode inside the mouse exists for model G403, and you may try to find it on Logitech website and then flash your mouse with this new firmware update. Some Logitech models have a specific problem, and that is specifically true about Logitech Performance MX series. These mice have several modes for the scroll wheel, and one of the modes is called Turbo. Basically, there is a physical switch that physically removes a barrier from the steps on the scroll wheel, so it can now rotate freely and sometimes with inertia. At the same time, this lever presses a switch inside the mouse, and this switch is supposed to tell the Logitech brand software that is installed on your PC that this turbo mode has been activated. However, this doesn't happen, and the scroll wheel starts to scroll more and skip lines. To fix that issue, you would have to uninstall Logitech driver and replace it with standard Microsoft Windows drivers for mouse. However, in this case, the Logitech utility will stop to recognize the mouse. However, that will fix the scroll wheel. All other advice that you may find online somehow relate to cleaning or even replacing the encoder assembly that is responsible for receiving data from the scroll wheel. Logitech used to have optical encoders in the past, but nowadays most of Logitech mice come with physical encoders and those physical contacts are prone to oxidation, especially if you live in damp climate or your hands are very sweaty and the sweat enters the insides of the mouse. So to fix that, you may want to disassemble the mouse, try to spray some contact cleaner inside the encoder, see if it helps. If it doesn't, you will have to disassemble the encoder, clean the contacts and assemble it back again. In some cases, the encoder will have to be replaced. All of these are very valid, solid pieces of advice that you can find online. However, if you have come to this video, probably you don't have the skills to do this, and you won't be doing that anyway. Basically, you're desperate. So fight the urge to smack your mouse against the wall, as it has happened in this case, and try another very simple trick that I have personally successfully used to revive wheels on Logitech G102, Logitech G403, and Logitech Model G703. It's safe to assume that this method will also work on other mice models from Logitech. All you have to do is disconnect your mouse from USB port if it's a wired one, or just turn it off with a switch if it's a wireless model, flip it over, and vigorously run the scroll wheel on your mouse pad. Do this for about 30 seconds. This will clean up the encoder. In some cases, you may even see some debris coming out, something like cotton lint, hair, and other gross stuff. And after that, clean up your mouse pad, turn the mouse back on, and now the scroll wheel should work. At least it did in my case. This solution helps for at least half a year, and if the problem persists after that, you just have to repeat the process. If this doesn't help, unfortunately it's a hardware failure and you either have to clean the encoder, replace it, or replace the entire thing. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.